If you're a Copic fan, you probably already know that Copic recently released new swatch cards. And in today's video, I'm going to show you what's inside the Copic swatch card set and how these cards help me create my illustrations. The set consists of a plastic case with 14 swatch cards inside. The cards are made out of a Copic Premium Bond paper, which is exactly the same as in the Copic Premium sketchbooks. This paper is one of my favorites and you can see me using it in almost all my videos. And it's perfect for drawing with any markers, not only Copics. So in case you're looking for a great paper for drawing with markers, definitely try it. Each swatch card has letters at the top left corner, which mean the Copic card family and make it easier to navigate between them when you're looking, let's say, for red or blue colors. The set of cards comes with a step-by-step -step guide on how to use it. Basically, it works like this. First, you need to match the color number below the box and on the marker. After that, carefully color inside the rectangle. As you can see, a rectangle is divided into three parts. After the ink dried out, you color inside the second and third part by using the same marker. Let the ink fully dry again and color with the same marker, but this time only the third part of the rectangle. This is not a bleed-proof paper and the ink will bleed through, so I placed a paper under the card to protect the surface. The guide says that after you apply it all layers, you'll see the color gradation. Which is for me not always true. I can definitely see it on the darker shades, but I don't really see it with the lighter colors, even though I applied it correctly. It took me a lot of time to swatch all the Copic markers I have, because first of all, I have more than 100 Copics, and I need to layer each color three times and I need to wait for the first layer of the ink to dry out before applying the next layer. Let me show you how these swatch cards help me create my illustrations. I usually draw using photo references and it's really helpful to look at the reference, browse through cards and look for a suitable color. Let's say I plan to draw this persimmon and I need orange, yellow, and red colors. So I take the cards that have all these colors and look which ones are the closest to the reference. Basically, these swatch cards help me to choose the right colors for my illustrations. Before I got these cards, I did the same swatches on the paper, but this swatch card set makes it much more easier to navigate between color families. I've been using the set for about a month, and I really like it. I highly recommend getting one, especially if you have a lot of Copic markers. These are all the things I wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was helpful to you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.